Jesus said in John chapter 14, <clears throat> in my father's house are many mansions. And every, I used to sing a song, I've got a mansion just over the hilltop. I'm waiting to get a mansion in glory. And even when I sang and I said, there's something missing here. I'm not just looking for a mansion in heaven. And then I began to realize as I, as I got to understand this, as I built a relationship with Wade Taylor, my spiritual father, as we talk, as we spend time, as we got to know each other, as we became friends. He showed me that that word mansions also can be translated levels. In my father's house are many levels of relationship. See, in my father's house, my father, my natural father, was three different people, sometimes four. He was the, wife, uh, the husband of my mother. That was one person. How he acted as a husband was totally different than how he acted as my father. He was the son of his mother. That's totally different than the way he acted as the husband of his wife. He was three different people. He was the father of my sister, which was totally different than the way he was my father. Somehow she had favor before the Lord. I got the boot. She got the blessing. <laughs> Only kidding. Only seriously kidding. But what I'm trying to get at is this. Inside of every one of us, there's different people. You see, there's different, there's different levels of relationship. I have a level of relationship with this one, a level of relationship with that one, a different level of relationship with this one. And in my father's house, Jesus said, there are many levels of relationship, many different relationships and levels of relationship. And it's like what we have to understand is that if we're spending time with him, if we're listening at his, at his door, if we're waiting at his gate, if we're watching for the movement to know what to do, if we're learning his ways, then we'll understand that we're being transformed. Transformed. That's the same word transfigured. Remember when Jesus was transfigured on the mount and all of a sudden, while he was standing there, a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. And Moses and Elijah were standing with him. He was transfigured and his garments began to glow whiter than any soap could make them white. And his face was glowing like Moses' face glowed when he came down from the mountain. He glowed so much he scared the life out of people. He had to put a, a napkin over his face to cover it. That word transfigured is the same word transformed. And we're being transformed little by little into his image. We were made in his image, created in his image, but we're not yet fully in his image. But little by little, as we go through the things that we go through, and as we understand these principles in life, these spiritual principles, as we understand this, we begin to get changed. And Paul the Apostle says, it's going from glory to glory. One level to another level. And that's what we're doing. We're going from glory to glory. Isaiah 28, verse 9 and 10 says to us, how shall I teach knowledge? Who will understand my doctrine? Only those who have been weaned from the bottle. Those who have left the breast. Precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. What he's saying is spiritual truth is not for babes. When you're a baby in Christ, all you're getting is the milk of God's word. But when you begin to get drawn away from the breast, when you're no longer there nursing at that breast, you now are getting ready to eat the meat of God's word. Your teeth are growing. You're getting ready to sink your teeth into God's word and eat it and get it. And then it becomes you. It makes you. It gets inside of you. The impartation begins to grow. And this happens little by little from glory to glory. Glory. 